Okay, so today in this video, this first video, I just turned it on, pressing power. I'm just gonna show you really simply how to choose your um, cartridge that you wanna use, one of the preloading cartridges, and um, how to also choose a regular cartridge, and then how to choose an image and to resize it. That's what we're going to cover today. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where you get your preloaded cartridge images. So the first thing um, I'm gonna show you is that this is your image button. That is to go in and pick the images on your preloaded cartridges and your either Imagine or regular Cricut cartridges. And we'll I'll show you that in just a second. This is the tools button and I will have a separate video that goes over the tool, tools button. This is the cut button and it's only lit up when you have an image on the mat. And then this is your load paper and unload paper. On the old um, Cricut expression, when you had your keypad, there would be a button off to the side for load and then another button for unload. Just here on this one, it's just one button and the arrow actually changes. Um, you can see the arrow is now pointed inward to load and when you push it, I can actually push it and show you. Now the arrow has changed and for unload. So it's pretty cool because it's simple and really easy. Okay. So now we're back to our screen and we, I want to go ahead and show you the different um, preloaded cartridges, how to access them and get an image on the mat. So I'm sorry for the shaky hand, but I'm holding up to this. So we simply press our star icon there. And here is an example of one of the preloaded cartridges. And this is the Cricut American Alphabet. Now let's say I wanted to use um, Cricut decals. I simply would come down so this little button down here that has a, a cricket, a silhouette of a cricket, and I would click it. And this middle button here is the preloaded cartridges. Now the one to the left is your any cricket cartridge that you have, regular cricket cartridge. And then the run to the right is the imagined cartridges. I don't have any cartridges in those slots, so they are whited out or black, black and white out, but I do have my preloaded. So I click my arrow here. Didn't realize how far away it was. <laughs> and you can see I have the American alphabet, decals, essentials, and just a note. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I think I'll just pick just a note for now. But you can see that I can pick any of the four. Once I click that, it takes me directly to back to my keypad screen with my just a note cartridge. Now I can go through my different creative features and pick whichever I would like. For instance, um, I can do layer one, and it'll switch to my layer one, layer two, and so forth. You know, I can go down to the card feature and all of that, so it's pretty easy. So let's go ahead, and well, before we do that, so that's how you do the preloaded cartridges. And again, if I wanted to switch, now I can pick, I can pick an item, you know, I'll pick the bunny, and then I can go in and switch, to a different cartridge and go up and pick decals or essentials and pick a frame. So you can use more than one cartridge at once. I think that's great. Okay, so now let's say I wanted to do a cartridge, um, a regular Cricut cartridge and not a preloaded Okay, one. so I simply am just going to go over here and take out the slot cover for the regular mm -hmm. cartridge. I'm going to choose the cartridge that I wanna use and I'm going to use Create a Critter and you simply just place it in there and automatically your screen will change to your cartridge. So it automatically changed to my Create a Critter. Okay, so I've placed um, the Create a Critter cartridge in and I wanna show you um, how it will show up on our screen when we wanna choose. So I'm gonna choose the Silhouetted Cricut again and you see now that my left slot is not whited out or black and whited out. It's green now, so that means I have something in there. So if I click on it, it'll automatically change my keypad screen to the cartridge that I have, which is Create a Critter. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and see how this has got the green around it with the white. That means that that's the one that's currently on the keypad screen. Whereas this one, my cartridge is green and the outer is white, and that means that is not the one chosen. I'm going to choose this one now, make it green, and here you'll see that now I have my Create a Critter images on the screen, which is very cool. 
Okay, so now that I have showed you how to find an image and how to pick your cartridge that you want to use, I'm going to go ahead and show you quickly how to just put an image on your mat and resize that image. So we're going to go ahead and pick an image off of the Create a Critter cartridge. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pick the crab. There it is. And after you've picked your image, you'll see it up here in the little... Um, I, it reminds me of an address bar, so I guess that's what I'm going to call it, in the little address bar. And um, sometimes it's really hard to see if that is the image you really want, especially if you, you know, just don't have the greatest vision or it's just hard to see on the computer screen. So one of the cool features that the E2 has is this little button over here, which is really cool, and it is the zoom key. So what you can do is you can actually press the zoom key and hold on to it, and it's going to be harder to do it with one hand instead of two. But I'm going to try to hold on to this key and press my crab, and voila! It zooms it up for you full screen so that you can really see what you're cutting. I just think that is a great feature. I know sometimes with the old expression, it was hard to see what exactly was on my screen. So thank you. Provocraft for putting this feature in because it's great. And when you're done, you know, when you've, you have viewed it enough and you know it's what you want or what you don't want, you just simply touch it and it goes right back to the address bar. So now that we've chosen our image, we need to go to our mat so we can size it. And the way you do that is simply click on the home button key at the bottom right of the screen. And now we can see that the crab has shown up on our mat. Now we would like to make our crab bigger. So, so all we do is we simply click the crab. Here you'll see a pencil icon, a minus sign icon, and two little squares. Now the minus sign is to completely take the crab off and delete it. And these little squares is if you wanted to copy and paste your crab right on your mat to do a duplicate. We're going to be using the pencil tool today. So we simply click on the pencil tool. Here it is in the next screen, and here's our options in this screen. In this screen, you have your size option, which is what we're going to be using, or you can flip horizontally your image, flip vertically your image, or flip um, 90 degrees. I think it's like a rotation. Yeah, rotate 90 degrees, sorry. Let's just go ahead and try these little things really quick so you can see on the screen. So I hope you can see that. I'll get a little closer so you can see. Okay, let's do our flip horizontally. As you can see, the claw has changed. I'll do it one more time. There, so you can tell it flipped. Now let's do flip vertically. Aha, how cool is that? Just flips it for you. I like that. And then the 90 degree. There you go. This is great for when you wanna save paper, when you are trying to fit more than one item on your mat. Um, just if you have a different type of texture paper that you've got backwards. I mean, these functions are really great for many different uses. Now let's go into our size. Okay, and the size is set at one and a half inches right now. Now this is really important right here. On the old machine, you could press real dial size or not real dial size. And this is what these are here. The big A, the capital A with the big lowercase a is your real dial size. And then this, of course, is the one that you mainly will use, with the capital A and a regular size small a. So this is what we want, and that's what's pressed. And I'm going to make my crab about five inches, just, just so we can see it really good on the screen. So once you get it to the desired size, you hit the save again. You won't see any change on this screen. So you'll just hit the save again and watch the crab. Aha, yay. So now my crab has gotten nice and big. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope um, that it taught you something. <laughs> and if you have any questions, please email me at clittle2916 at yahoo.com. And please look for more videos. The next video that I'm going to be filming is one on um, manipulating the images on the mat. A lot of us are having issues with, um, you know, with the, with the expression, we could just manually move our images. We could manually move the blade to wherever we wanted to on the mat, and it was just great. 
and um, it's, it is different with this machine. So I'm going to be showing you that it's still just as easy and how to do it. Thanks everybody, have a blessed day.